Jody, she looks great, huh? Yeah, she looks really good. Come on. You had five years to pull the trigger with Jody. You had plenty of reasons for calling it off. I think there's been a mistake because that's the kids' table. That's not the kids' table. That's the singles' table. Seriously, I had to kiss a few frogs before I met my prince. <laughs> It really is the first uh, sex comedy in a long time in the United States, if not ever. I mean, you know, that's more of a French thing or, you know, European. You guys are more open to that kind of thing. But over here, you know, you could cut heads off left and right, but try showing a pair of breasts. That wasn't what you think it was. What? I didn't hear anything. A lot of it is drawn from our own personal lives. <laughs> and, and then a lot of it, you know, you, you, you know, just comes naturally. The, the hard part for us, honestly, is to create the character and to make him so likable that we can hang our jokes on. But once we've created that guy or woman who you like enough, uh, the jokes kind of, they kind of fall right into place. How did you get into environmental research? research? I wanted to do something that I really love. She's gorgeous, fun, she's a great person. At some point, you're just gonna have to close your eyes and jump. I was hoping that they would see me that way so I'd get the part, uh, but I just wanted to make sure that they knew I wasn't really like that in real life. <laughs> I think they like to push the limit, so they get sort of a shocking performance where a lot of people tend to go a little bit safer, and, and I, I mean, having seen the film, I'm, I'm sure you can agree with me that they definitely push it to the limit. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's nice, it's fun. You kind of gasp and laugh at the same time because it's just... It's just outrageous, and that's sort of their thing. They go for the outrageous. You got a pretty good voice there. You're going to be hearing a lot of it for the next 40 or 50 years. Yo, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So I'm not sure about it, baby, do that conga. No, you can't control yourself any longer. They're so cute. That's us in 10 years. I hope it's more than 10 years. <laughs> You're probably right. I'm really bad at math. He's the best comedic actor working today, I think, and it's because of his ability to react. He's a great reactor. It's, it's, uh, he makes every joke funnier by the way he reacts to it. Just a little head turn, a little nod, a little eyebrow thing. Uh, but the beauty of his performance in this one is he's not just reacting, he's also very proactive and makes things happen. And that, that's why I think it's his best performance. Farrelly's just have their own tone, you know, they've had it for a long time, which is, I think, characters that you really care about, that are very sweet and real, and they also have these very broad jokes that are out there, but I think they're all earned because you care about the characters. You had a... you snorted... That's how I got the deviated septum. I feel like there's a freedom to try things right now that is great, you know, it's really there right now. I think it's because of the success of um, a lot of these movies uh, that has opened up the R-rated movies, which it makes a difference because you really just have so much more freedom for us in this country. I don't know how it works in France, but you get the sense it's much looser there. At least that's the image we have here, you know, that you can really just, you know, you're much more comfortable with that kind of thing. And for us to be able to have that, like what I'm doing right now, the movie I'm directing right now is, is R-rated also. It's not a sex comedy, you know, it's about a, it's, a war comedy and that kind of thing, but you can just do so much more because you can be more real and you don't have to worry about censoring yourself. And I think that just allows people to enjoy it more because it's you, you don't have to worry about um, you know offending anybody. I'm Eddie. Nice to meet you. A comedy about finding the right girl. So this other girl doesn't bother her that you're a newlywed? I haven't exactly made it clear to her yet. At the wrong time.